So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. It is your boy Gaza Plays back with another video for you all today. Now listen, today's video is going to be super awesome because I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get super OP inside of Pet Trainer. Now this game is amazing. I really love it because it is based on Pokemon, which I really do love. You guys know that because of all the Pokemon stuff I be showing on the stream. Now before we actually jump into the stuff, guys, make sure you all subscribe to the channel because you want to be a part of the pancake squad the best squad on YouTube hit that like button because who doesn't want to like this video even my Grammy wants to like this video so smash that like button because we produce quality content over here now let's get started with things guys now what I want to show you like I said I want to show you how you can get super OP now one of the first things that you should do inside this game first of all is try to unlock all of the areas now you can unlock all of, hold on let me teleport to spawn guys to unlock all of these areas guys you will of course need to get yourself some gold as you guys can see i got a lot of gold i can have a lot more gold than this but i don't see a reason that i should get any more gold right now because yeah I think this would be sufficient for the upcoming updates. I don't think I would need no more than this right here. But if I do, I know how I could get gold super fast, especially with the pets that I have. Now, to get gold fast, you definitely want to be leveling up your pets. And if you're inside the first zone, to level up your pets super fast, you either get the coins here or you can either get the bushes. Now, getting these will be super easy. So, yeah. So when you start off the game, if you are a VIP or something, guys, you will have 300 of these candies automatically. I call them bubbles, but they are candies. Um, you'll have 300 of those automatically so you can evolve your first pet. Now, that is actually good because if you come here, you will start off with like, will you start off with 2,000 coins or something like that? I don't remember the exact amount of coins you start off with, at least... That's how much I, I believe I start off with that since I was a VIP. I don't know. I don't even remember. But when you come there, you can buy your first pet. Or you can stock up on the coins first, guys. I would recommend that to get something better than going for the first egg. What I did was go for the first egg, which was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that, but you could actually go to get a better egg. Now, once you stock up and you collect enough coins, unlock the new areas. So you need to unlock all the areas and get until you reach the ghost town. When you reach the ghost town, you will have access to a lot of things. But the first place you want to get access to is Bubblegum Town. You re the reason you want to get access to this is because there will be your first chest. In this chest, you could get up to 1 million coins, guys. I believe it's 1 million, or you could even get more than 1 million. I think the pets do a multiplier, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they got some coins, which is the multiplier, which will help you a lot. Like my docker right here is a 45,000 coins right there, so that is good. So that would be the first thing you want to get. Then you want to go to, like I said, the ghost town, which is the final place, guys. Now, going to the ghost town is amazing. You want to put all of your pets, guys, on this. Now, luckily, this one is about to be done. Now, how it works with the chest, guys, as you guys can see, these little circles here on the ground. That's the amount of pets that can fit here. So I was wondering, like, why wouldn't all of my pets fit to the chest like at the beginning when I just started the game these circles are allocated for the pets as you can see each pet has its own circle so once all of those circles are filled up yeah you cannot send the rest of your pets so you want to join servers that you know that ain't too full that don't have I mean if you're a low level person you might don't want to get carried for some from someone so yeah that's the only situation I would do that like look how much I just got guys I got a lot just now like like a hundred million or so I got just now or even more than that but anyways and you could get so much more than that if you're the only person inside the server not only not that you're the only person in the server but you're the only person on the chest you started it from there and you finished it to the end and you could get how much how much is this you could get a billion you could get like more than a billion gems or whatever from doing this guy so 
leveling up your pets will be very important like i said you already know how to level up by getting the coins and the bushes like let me show you guys something right now so my chikara is level 141 149 i think this is my most uh, yeah this is the highest level pet i got 173 now i don't be on the game as much now that i got every single pet inside the game i go and grind other games so yeah that's the reason i'm not on it like that but now what i want to talk about that was gold right there the gold is the easiest thing to get now some people complain about getting the candies it takes so long now i was able to do like level up not level up but evolve my pokemon very fast in this game because i knew a few tricks guys now i'm gonna go to the spawn area and there's a sign that's inside the spawn area that you guys should know about like right now so the spawn area let me take you here now watch this guys so as you can see candies dependent on the pet you get certain amount of candies depending on the pets that you have equipped guys so you can have two sets of teams guys so you can have your coin team and you can have your candies team guys now watch this the reason i said that because diff like it says different pets get a certain amount of candy collection so no non-legendary pets will get one candy collection um legendary pets will get plus two wild pets will get plus three ghost pets get plus five guys so wild pets you got you guys know what wild pets i'm talking about like the darker and stuff like that so those pets that are on the signs that's what we call the wild pets the non-legendaries would be the first um pets inside the the egg here guys so this would count as a legendary right here the last pet inside of the egg that will count as a legendary so as you guys can see i got every single pet inside here now i got i know you guys are seeing the ghost pets and you're like what is a ghost pet now i was wondering that too but the ghost pet is actually the type of the pokemon or the pet that you have so we have normal types fire types and stuff like that but there's ghost types so something like the phantom which is a ghost type pet of course will give me five candies right there so if you have a full team of the phantoms and it doesn't have to be a phantom like i said any pet that has the ghost attribute so i could show you some other ones that have the ghost attribute now i don't know them all. i don't be paying attention to them but there is one that actually looks like a ghost um where is it guys let me see if i can find it i don't even know if i still have that pet in oh there it is right here so ghoster you can get the ghoster from the first egg i believe is it the first egg that you get the ghoster from um not the first egg the second egg you get the ghoster from it is the third one so if you don't have that much coins to get the phantom which is the last egg and as you guys can see it is six hundred thousand to actually get that and you yeah it's a percentage i'm sure about that so you don't get this right away but you guys like i said you could go with this it doesn't matter if this is low on coins because you're not worrying about getting coins when you have this pet equipped it's all about the candies guys so yeah you got that certain amount when you got those certain pets out so all of the legendary pets that are here would be yeah let me show you guys that now like i said it'll be this you all know this i have all of these pets so i can actually show you all the memes of these pets now let's see the leg one of those legendaries this one right here it actually evolves into the phoenix which is this one here this is the pet that evolves oh i didn't mean to buy that but that same legend right there is the one that evolves i don't know if they count it as a legend still but yeah it has two let's see let's see if they count that as a legend yeah see legendary pet so if it has two it's a legendary if it only has one so that's how you can tell if your pet is a legendary or not so this isn't a legendary we know that this isn't a legendary this ain't no legendary and you see that that's a ghost pet 
Is this a legendary? No, not a legendary. This is a wild pet because it has three. You guys understand what I'm saying. So yeah, like I said, to get a lot, guys, you want to get those chests. The chests should be your top priority. Now, what I do, guys, there is a plugin that's called Roblox Plus. This pet plugin is so good. It's especially good for people like who cannot afford Robux. So I use it a lot of times. I mean, I could get myself some Robux, but I still use it a lot of times because what it saves you money and stuff like that. So if you use Roblox Plus, I'll probably have that linked in the description for you guys. If you use Roblox Plus, you could be able to find empty servers. Now, what empty servers allow you to do is when you join, of course, the chest and everything would still be there. Now, if the chests are gone, that's probably because the people who were there before already claimed them all. But you can just switch and go to another empty servers. And when you switch, there's going to be so much trees inside you guys. So much trees, so much things on the ground that you could get. So that's, that's why you want to definitely be using Roblox Plus. Join an empty server where there's a chest and every place where you go so yeah that's what you want to do send all your pets there get all those chests and you're gonna be looking like me or even better than me once you keep grinding like I said I wasn't grinding so much I mean I grind to get <laughs> to be the first one to complete everything but y'all know what I'm talking about so I'm not worried about getting any coins because I know how to get them soup per fast guys now y'all can let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about this video make sure y'all subscribe smash that like button and that is it what we have here and also let me know what you guys think this is right here what you think this is going to be and what do you think is going to be through here as you guys can see the sign says danger it's going to be awesome guys i cannot wait until we have access to that area probably it's going to be like what route 12 route 11 whatever it is they be having on pokemon it's going to be so good hopefully pokemon and stuff will be able to use fly surf all those things it will be so good guys but thank you all for watching the video and i will see y'all in the next one